Who's harassing who? Okay, so this is Cynthia Ortiz. These are the Charles Perry Stalker Podcast. Who's the muffin man to you, Charles? You keep talking about the muffin man. But the muffin man said, yeah, I don't work for the muffin man. So who is that? I mean, you keep, you know, you keep going around. These are the Charles Perry Stalker Podcast. This is Cynthia Ortiz. It's November, November 15, 2023. Uh, so Mr. Perry keeps going around and telling everybody what to do in Oklahoma, where he doesn't live and wasn't invited. Um, I moved two times, twice, like packed all my shit up, disconnected utilities and whatever, moved it into a truck the first time, and then and then had to, you know, start all over again. My poor kid had to leave all his friends and start all over, make new friends as a, you know, teenager. Not that, not that easy to do as a teenager. To get away from a monster. Charles Perry's a monster. A rejected fail, too stupid to figure out how to move on. Listen, I don't like you. Right now, nobody likes you. You got your crowd of weirdos. You got your little bitches that kiss your ass. And for the life of me, I don't know why the fuck they would want to do that. I can't figure that one out. I've racked my brain. No amount of money is worth that. Not to me. So here we go again. Mr. Perry's uh, decided to starve me again and made a bunch of phone calls. We're not going to let her make money. If she calls and asks you for money, let us know. Tell me if she puts pressure on you. That was recorded by police. Not Tulsa police, our police, my police. They fucking have kicked your ass harder than anybody. How many times has your crime been caught before you did it to me? How many after? Can you still count? I think you don't know how to count anymore. I really don't think you know how. We hear you have Huntington's disease. I'm watching this commercial for Alzheimer's. And... um, and I think it's like a assisted fo- a living facility or something. And she was talking about my mom started, you know, repeating the same questions over and over. And I'm like, you mean like, who is it? This guy or that guy who leaked? Gosh, I'm not told who leaks are. And guess what? When they put you, when they use all that information they get from your leaks to lock your fucking skank ass up in jail, I get my privacy back and I will never be broke again. And you guys, oh, make sure she doesn't make no money. Make sure she don't make no money. And get her car. And then, and then she'll be destitute. Then she'll like us. Well, no, that's not how that works. You know it's different when you do it to me. We start quoting everything you said all damn day. It is very busy for us in 007 land. Very, very, very busy. We got now Jacob. Is sit, he's the guy sitting outside the club. We've talked about this for a long time. That Charles had people sitting outside that club running customers off. And that you had, March 2020, you had better cut that the fuck out. You don't have the right to do that. You don't have that right. Nobody invited you here. You did not come up here and make everybody's life good. You have come up here and terrorized and terrorized and stressed everybody out and made everybody had one problem after another and everybody's sick and tired of it. So we get the help. You get told on, Muffin Man. You too. Don't you work for Charles or does Charles work for you? You, t- you tell us. We don't want to lie, you know, or anything. And then have some kind of slander, whatever, accusations. Um, Somebody told you to quit playing doctor. Oh, it's not us. We're not affecting her money. It's just a coincidence. Yeah, police don't believe in coincidence, he said. Especially not her police. Besides that, they probably got a bunch of recordings about it. She can say something or not say something. Doesn't mean they have I wouldn't assume they don't have a recording on it. I wouldn't be that dumb. Although you're stupid, so I mean, I'm put, I'm paraphrasing. He didn't say you're dumb or you're stupid. He said, I wouldn't assume they don't. Did you want to risk that? You want to roll those dice? I wouldn't. I'd assume they do. And quit playing doctor. We'll just say she's crazy. We'll just say we're not we're not stalking her. She's just crazy. But you called. We already heard her. We did have. We've had it more than once. Phone calls made. We're going to make sure she has no money. Her DoorDash isn't going to work right. Her, we're going to block people from going in the club. 
run people, paying customers off out of the club. We're going to make sure this week she's fucking broke. We're going to take her car because we are tra human traffickers. She's already said that over and over and over and over. We're caught. But we're all going to pretend like we're not caught. And hope and pray to God everybody else is as stupid as we are. You're caught. Okay? You sold me to a guy. Any other victim know who they were sold to? Where the guy lives? Houston, realtor, Larry. Okay, I said, fuck you. There's no way. There is no fucking way. All you're doing is pissing me off and people helping me. And the people helping me clearly have a lot of power. Right, Muffin Man? Lucius Calvin Geppetto? Blankenship Desiree? Ben Core? Oscar, Bruce, Greg, Tim, Larry. Tim turns his transponder off. We need kidnaps women so he nobody knows where they're taking them. Is it the Houston compound or you dump them over Columbia somewhere? Huh? You tell us. We don't want to lie. Right? I wouldn't assume there's not recordings on that too, though, that might come out in a criminal case. We're quoting you every fucking day. Just because you can't figure out all the semantics of how that's done... That means they're really good at what they do. That's the intent. They don't want you to know. I have traffic court Thursday. Are you trying to interfere with that? Are you trying to impede court process, Mr. Perry? Court process? I thought you had nothing to do with that. It was just a coincidence. So what do you care if I make it to court or not? Why do you act like you have a horse in that race? Because I thought you said you didn't. It was just a coincidence. Go ahead and act guilty. Go ahead and do it. I dare you. Okay? You're an expert at it. You're very good. You suck at everything else. But acting guilty is your forte. You're very good at it. Now, who's harassing who? I'm not going where you are. You have come where I am. Wherever I'm working, it does, or you make sure I don't find a job unless you can control that job. Right? Isn't that your thing? You can't control fuck, by the way. There are certain things they let you do. They're building a criminal case. Here's the thing. We're going to hit play. You talk. And I can now sting up anybody you've sent thus far. Can I not? Do you get the information out of me when you send these bitches into a strip club? Do you get the information out of me that you wanted? Did you get me on the stage? Didn't you want me on the stage and the guys helping me were like, don't get on the fucking stage. Not right now. We'll tell you when you can get on the stage. Don't get up there. Did you call my family again and try to get them to all talk to me after I've said over and over and over and over, we know you did that, and I said no. I'm not going to listen to a word they say. I won't have anything to do with that. That is some fucked up shit right there. I don't want to talk to them. I don't want to talk to you. You can have my family, and they can have you. You won. You got it. You want them, you can have them. I'm done with them. I don't want to hear a word they have to say. What is it you're trying to do there? Because you're caught. It only works if you don't know. It has to be a surprise, right? Isn't that how your gaslighting usually works? They can't know or it doesn't work. It's different when you do it to me. You don't know me at all. You don't know who I know. We're showing you what we can do. You've not seen it before. You've not had this happen before. And you act like you're a fucktard and you think nothing's happening. And we're at a loss. Don't ask me who leaks are. You don't have anything to leak. It's just all coincidence. And I'm crazy. Right? Go tell the court that. Go tell the court that. Tell your court that in the criminal case. Okay? There's nothing to leak. And she's just crazy. All right? While well, you're asking me if it's Al or if it's Jim or if it's your attorney or if it's uh, David or my family, how did you meet my family? Because I never introduced you to them. I would never take you around my family. So why are you talking to my family? And how did you meet them? And you want them to gang up on me. And they're, we've been talking about it for months. For months I've said, yes, I know that you want to do that. I won't talk to them. They chose you. 
They shoved me out of their lives. I haven't heard from any of them for four years. Four fucking years. Not one is called to see if I'm okay. Why in the fuck would I talk to them now? They had you over for dinner while I'm sleeping in my car, going days without food. And we're there again. You did it again. I haven't, had, I haven't eaten for two days. Okay? So they won you. I don't want to hear a fucking word any of you have to say. None of you. Okay? You want them? Take them. They're yours. You win. And fuck you. This, you are harassing me, you fuck. I'm, stalking is a felony. Do you understand? Human trafficking comes with a life sentence. You are caught. Stop acting like you don't know that. Everybody knows that. And I said, no, I'm not going. I'm not going to suck dicks for you, okay? I'm not going to go suck a bunch of guys' dick, strange, you know, for you, so you can get rich. It's not going to happen. Do you understand me? It will never happen. You're pissing me off. Stop pressuring me. This is pressure. Harass, ter terrorize, harass, terrorize. We're going to make sure she don't make no money. And then we're going to take her car. Uh-huh, and then I'm going to go eat out of a dumpster and we'll see how much I'm worth then. Okay? Fuck you. You are out of your mind. Stop, I don't, stop stalking me. We, I can't live here anymore because... We get more intel, the more hideous you get. Notice the increase in my emails and I don't type it all up. Some things we don't want you to know we know. We're going to hit play and let you talk. We're going to let you do what you do and we'll just take notes. And then we'll see you in court. You fuck. They're not little pansies. They're not little pussy cowards that peck on women, thinking that'll make them tough. They're not twinkle toes. They're men. They're chivalrous. They protect women and children from bitches like you, pathetics like you. They think like this guy. I don't want free for this. Please leave me alone. Talk to me for two minutes. No, leave me alone. I don't want to ever talk to you. Leave me alone. I don't want free for this. Please leave me alone. Hey, man. Leave women the fuck alone. When they're in public, when they're doing anything, you don't have the right to their attention. You don't have the right to step into their personal space. You don't have the right to them. Especially if they're making it very clear they don't want to be talked to. But even when they're not, unless a woman is giving you enthusiastic and continuous body language and signs that she wants to talk to your ugly dumbass, then leave her the fuck alone. Find a date a different way, okay? It's not clever. It's not cool. It's not cute. It's garbage. It's absolute garbage behavior, and you're a garbage person if you do it. I don't care if it's in public. It doesn't fucking matter. You don't have the right to her, and you need to leave her alone. And this is bacon. That's okay. I don't care. All right, so I'm quoting many a phone call this week. We're going to make sure she don't make no money. And if she calls you and asks for help, which my guy said, she's not to be broken, have to ask for help. Because if that happens, I'm going to fuck you up like you've not been fucked out before. So when you guys run around going, how'd she find out? How'd she know? That didn't go like we wanted it to. How'd she find out? That didn't work out. Okay, that's him fucking you up like you've never been fucked up before, Calvin. He's bald and fat. I've never met him in my life that I know of. Sanjay, Beverly, Renee, Ben Cor. I've not met you people. Um, I've heard your, I heard your names on police recordings like a lot. Now we got Jacob is sitting outside that club running the customers off. He was waiting until she got, went up, got on the stage and then he was going to get her. Get me. For what? Trying to work and not be harassed? Interference with contracts and commerce with intent to coerce. Are you trying to help Jacob facilitate trafficking of a human in a human trafficking deal? You either are or you're not. You tell me. I don't want to lie. Is that good intel or bad intel? 
You you tell the court. Aren't, aren't they in Judge Egan's court and Judge Parker's court in Lubbock? I, even though I haven't been to Lubbock in nine years. I haven't been to Texas in nine years. Except for the illegal detaining, you know, hostage taking, whatever the hell that was. Um, in January 2016. Um, I rejected Charles Perry. He's a creepy fuck. And he terrorizes people. And he's a nosy body. And he crosses boundaries. And I don't go out with canned food guys. I don't do it. I go out with men who are working hard and they're interesting to talk about. And they fucking don't have time to sit around and peep all day. And bother other people. And be all Connie Curry nosy body. I don't have the time. I'm busy working. And so I have interesting things to talk to you about. That's the kind of guy I like. It'll never be a peeping Tom. It'll never be a, you know, I'm canned food broke guy and, and I'm going to take your $60 even if it costs me, you know, 500000 in intel I just lost. Secrets I just gave out. Sensitive information just got in the wrong hands. It's worth the $60, right, that you take from me? Okay, or the $100, whatever it is that in any given week. Um, I, I certainly hope so when you're sitting in prison. I'm going to come ask you because we know it's you guys think it's cute when you try when you starve me. So when you do that and then you're sitting in jail because you did that, I'm going to come and go, is it cute now? Now is it cute picking on a woman? Now you feel tough guy now? Okay, I want you to remember. And, and my guys are going to go, guess what? We fixed the mess you made. We made her smile. Not you. Okay? She left because you're hideous. She rejected you and left because you're hideous. You were a jaw, but here's the thing. She could have come to us. We could have found in the process of investigating you that you were nothing like what we heard. Instead, what happened is you're a whole lot worse than what we heard. The initial complaint was there's some human rights violations going on here. Very serious. Women being deprived of food and shelter so they can coerce and shit and pressure and harass into doing something they don't want to do. Why would they do that? There's something else going on. It's not just that. Look into it. And so they did. My job was to help you get elected because when somebody's a public official, they're subject to public scrutiny and they intermingle with a whole lot of people. There's been more than one of my guys you talked to twice in the same day and you had you didn't remember. You had no idea. So if they can get you to say the same thing twice, we got you on that one, don't you think? Or they do. Push play, let them talk, just take notes. Right? Let them do what they do. Just take notes. We're going to make sure she doesn't eat this week. If she calls you for money, don't give her any. And if she pressures you, let me know. Wow, just to eat food. Basic right and need. Because you stole mine doing this kind of shit. I always, always take a screenshot of these before I get started. Never has it looked like that. Ever. I got a whole file of these that I take every time I start to, to a new dash. Okay? Because we track how busy is it. If it says it's busy, I better have orders coming in. Because if not, they're fucking with it. And then once things don't go right, the guys start digging. They get their detective microscope and shove it right up your ass. And look at every single thing you do, say, think. Okay? All of you. Not just Charles. It's the whole bunch of you. So when you run around going, How did she find out? How did she know about that? Things didn't go like we planned. We, this hadn't happened before. Well, you asked for it though. Because what he told you in March 2020 is, Do not invade her privacy. It's illegal to do that. She has the right to her privacy. You don't have the right to invade it. Don't contact her. She asked you not to. Show some fucking respect, bitch. And stop acting like a, like a fucking wild animal. Um, get some dignity and some class. Don't you want to be a dignitary? And she is not to be broke. They know exactly how much money I can make because they've known me most of my adult life. 
So you failed. That's not coincidence. They have you make sure how many times how many recordings are they of talk of you talking about that? Make sure she didn't make any money. If she calls you for help, let us know. And let us know if she pressures you. How many recordings of he, of you talking to my ex husband? Does he have of you saying that to him? Because we I've heard him. I've heard more than one. So once you're exposed yourself to the public, because you want to be public, you want everyone to know who you are. You want to be important. You also expose yourself to cops, sir. It's so much easier to investigate a public uh, individual, a public figure, an elected official who is um, obligated to be accountable to the people who voted for him. It's not just a nice little thought. You are obligated to accountability to the people who voted for you, like it or not. If you don't like that, don't run for public office. You don't like the kitchen, get out of the, you know, the heat, get out of the kitchen. You don't like getting burned, quit fucking touching the hot stove. Instead of running around. How did she find out about that? When you fucked up my school, we got the Houston compound information. Do you know what the guy said? That place smells like the soup. What they did is they kidnapped a bunch of girls, went and raped them, got them pregnant. Those, ki those girls had kid their kids, their children. Charles has kids out there. Other than Matthew and Jordan. Does Jacqueline know? How many kids does Jacqueline know you have or not know you have? Did you tell? That's your wife. The one you betray every day. In Oklahoma, chasing a woman who can't stand you, trying to sell me to pay for your stalking bill. Is that true? Did you sell me to pay for the stalking expenses that you could no longer afford? Are you going to share me with Larry, you sick little fuck? I don't know. You tell us. We don't want to lie. Is that good intel or bad intel? Huh? All right. So you, t you tell the court. Tell Judy, Judge Parker. Tell Judge Egan. Tell them the truth. Because it's going to come out in the other court. And then, then what are you going to do about perjury? T tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Or plead the fifth. You pick. You choose. What's your schedule? Where have you been? And when have you been there? How often do you go to Houston? How often are you in Lubbock? How often are you in Oklahoma? Give us your schedule, sir. Give the court your schedule. For the past 10 years, where have you been? Yeah, I don't date lazies. I don't date perverts. I don't date men who can't respect boundaries. I don't men who I don't date men who don't defend my honor. I don't date men unless they're very busy working and have something interesting to talk. I already know what I did all day. I don't need to hear that from you. Um, and I don't date canned food guys at all, ever. There's never going to be a day I date a canned food guy. He makes sure I don't miss a meal or he's not. He's off the list. He's off that. Yep, you're done. And that's just, that doesn't even include all the criminal activity you're into, which is a turnoff to normal women. You're a fucking turnoff. So there's no chance of any, I mean, I don't know this thing about gathering up my family and have them gang up on her. After we've already talked about this, over, how many times you get quirky on the phone? How many recordings do the cops have of you saying that? Get quirky on the phone. Who introduced you to quirky? Because I didn't. Listen, my family welcomed you into their lives and shoved me out and have not one of them. I got a huge family. And in four years, not one of them checked on me. So they can have you. And I don't give up. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear a fucking thing from any of them. Why would I want to hear from them? Not one time did they check on me while you terrorized me. They had... While you're brutalizing my life, they had you over for dinner. While I'm sitting in my car starving, living in a fucking parking lot. I, I got no use for that. You know who, who will listen to? The guys that tell me everything you said today and the day before that and the day before that and the day before that. Don't get on the stage. He'll hurt you. Here's when you can go to work and it's okay. You can handle it. And here's when you can't. He'll hurt you and you won't be able. You, we, can't get, we can't get to you. So don't go. Okay? 
This right here has never happened. But you made a bunch of phone calls about making sure this week I didn't make any money. Right? You don't want traffic court. Right? You got you do have a horse in that race because it wasn't random and it wasn't a coincidence, was it? You prearranged it, didn't you? You and Calvin. Did Calvin call that in? Isn't he the one that calls in the pullovers? Yeah, we heard. I mean, y this is on the record in another courtroom. Okay? It's already on the record. They're already getting... Let, let's say they have a... Let's say they have a, a recording of somebody talking about doing XYZ to me. And then you do XYZ to me. And in the process of that, we got a new name comes up. Believe me, immediately they get they're gonna get investigatory orders on that guy. Then get now it's Gabe and Jacob. Okay? They asked for it. They kissed your ass. They want to be your bitch. So they can. And they gotta live with the consequences that go along with that too. Interference with co contracts and commerce with intent to coerce human trafficking to facilitate the trafficking of a human being. So fucking illegal, it's not even funny. And you started getting caught when you did it to me. So the guy about the Houston compound says, that place smells like the fucking sewer because they're sodomizing those little kids and they're shitting all over the floor. And they go in and they fuck the girls, then they fuck each other, then they fuck the kids. It is the nastiest, most awful, gross thing I've ever seen in my life. About fucking time somebody gets that. About fucking time. Somebody shuts that shit down. That is some sick, fucked up stuff that goes on at that compound in Houston. It's, it's bad. I mean, it's those kids will are never going to be normal, ever. They have been raped and raped and raped and raped and abused. And, ra and it, they'll never be normal, ever. They're, they're already... And how, how he could walk out of that place and not do something, I don't know. I think that he's scared to death. I'm not. You want to fight me? Fight me. Okay? I have help. You've tried to subjugate me for well over a year. And I very nearly have eaten out of a dumpster. I just don't eat. Also, you want to starve me until I lie? I'm starving. You happy? I'm not going to lie for you. You think my family's going to convince me to do go suck dicks and be raped so you can make money off me and then kill me? You want the affidavit signed, and I'm not even supposed to know there is an affidavit, but I do. You wanted to do a false arrest. You wanted to frame me for a murder. You got shoes I bought well after that murder. Oh, here's the shoes she was wearing. No, actually, I wasn't. Those shoes, how do I know there's a shoe problem? Police are investigating you. It started with a human rights violation. We get more intel, the more mean and cruel you get to me. So we found out about a sh ra murder frame up in shoes. Shoes I bought well after the murder. So, fuck you. You don't know me. You don't know who's helping me. You don't know a damn thing about me, nor does my family. Because if my family knew me, they would have trusted me enough to say, he's been calling here. And telling us, we can't tell you he's calling here. And my son, my minor child in my supervision, you did not have permission to talk to at all. Introducing him as your stepson and other people are telling me about this and I'm going what do I do? Do I make him more uncomfortable? I'm waiting for him to go mom. He's here Causing problems here And he didn't trust me enough Okay, well, what do I need that for but he has no problem calling me and Charles needs you to take my picture off um, Michael Neely's uh, thing because you can see too much of a difference of what it looks like when somebody was actually in a fight and what somebody looks like who was not like Officer Neely and so we need we, I, we, they need me to call you and tell you to take it off and pretend I'm pissed and I hung up on him and I'm like yeah I'm, uh uh it's, it's evidence that I'm not going to tamper with it nor can you and it's public. You put it out there on Instagram or something. And he even said that. It's public use. And I'll listen. It's evidence now. And thank you for letting me know what Charles thinks. Again, the only time you ever call me is when you got to call me and tell me what Charles thinks. What do I need that for? I don't need that. When you want to act like I taught you to act and be the kind of man I taught you to be, call me. 
I'll I'll talk to you then. But until then, if you want to be Charles's bitch too, go ahead. Have at it. Have at it. And don't expect me to bail you fucking out when this blows up. Don't expect it. Okay? Uh, you didn't trust me enough to tell me what he was doing. And so don't trust me enough to call me to bail you out when this whole thing blows up. And you get wrapped up, you get <coughs> sucked down the drain with the rest of them, with him. You made a choice. Because I taught my kids, you do the right thing because it's the right thing to do, even when it's hard. Because at the end of the day, the right thing's going to happen. Look, here's Grandma's story. Here's this person's story. Here's that person's story. And here's what happened when people compromised and sold out. And gave, walked away from their values and their ethics and their morals and everything they believed in and just did whatever because it was easier. People follow the path of least resistance, which sometimes can take you down the drain. You call people and you tell them don't help her while we starve her. So when you need help, you're not going to get any. You got an attorney, you pay 500 bucks an hour, call him. I have no food to eat. And when you need help, fuck you. It's not going to, yeah, nope. Hit him with the full force of the cord because he did this to me tonight right here. Make him pay. Make him pay for what he did to me. He chose it. He knew. He did it anyway. So make the guy pay. Interference with commerce right here. At the club, interference with commerce, Jacob. When they all go down the drain and you go down with them, I don't know what to tell you. That, that was your choice. You want to be the bitch of a sex weirdo. Make sure you can live with everything that goes along with that. Okay? Because at the end of the day, typically what happens is the people who made a lot of sacrifices and stuck by their guns and did the right thing to do because it's the right thing. And I signed up for a job, sir. You're the job. The job is catch the bad guy. You're the bad guy. You've not been this caught in your life. We're really good at what we do. And the more torture and crap you throw at me, the better I get. I don't have a choice. If I want to survive, I better be, get really good at what I do. I go in that club and you send 20 guys in, run everybody else off. These are all your guys. And they're supposed to sting on me. And they walk out. Uh, she didn't say what I wanted her to. She, we needed her to say X, Y, Z, and she didn't do it. We needed her on that stage, and she didn't get on stage. Well... Some of that's because I already know what you're doing before I get there. You have 24-7 surveillance all over you. They got their detective's microscope up your ass. All of you. Okay? You know that. You know that. And you do it anyway. So when you get caught, you asked for You knew. And you do it anyway. Nobody will suspect a thing. How did she find out? Find out what? Nobody will suspect. Find out. We're, uh, we're like, oh my god. All right, so you want to make this is, I mean, this was on a, this is a, what it normally looks like. Sometimes instead of being red up at the top, it's red in the middle there. Or it looks like that. Never does it look like that. Ever. Just all of a sudden this week, nobody wants to order DoorDash. Come on with that. Yeah, I, I think you're off your nut. What's this one? Police don't believe you're, you're calling. What? Oh, gosh. We got caught again. Police don't believe in coincidence, especially not hers. They probably got recordings of you. I would I would assume they do. Just because she doesn't type anything up, I'd always assume they do. Because a lot of times, she just won't do what you wanted her to do. Which means somebody told her something. Right? Okay, when is it that they told me or I have gut instinct like a motherfucker or that I can outsting up anybody, anywhere, anytime? You won't ever know that. You'll never know. How much of it I knew before and just didn't type it up or how much I, you know, I'm just good at what I do. But I get better at it because you, you've hit me nonstop for a decade. So I don't have a choice but to get better at it and better and get Okay, I mean, you asked for it. Okay, don't invade her privacy. Don't contact her, and she'd better not be broke and have to ask for help. And if I have to ask for help and the answer is no, you're going to pay for that. 
and it's going to hurt. Okay? Full force of the court all over you, and you asked for it. There's your shovel. Dig away. Okay, we got this one, too. This is the whole damn timeline of the stalking based on the texts and emails I sent at the time. That's what the guy, I will say, the guy said a couple of times during this conversation. These are emails and texts that were sent as the thing happened right then at the time, way back in 2011, 2012, 2013. These are not, these are not uh, an afterthought to explain something away. These she sent right then, right when it was happening. So, um, it looks like, you know, that she was very good at documenting things as they occurred and still is. When did, you know... When did when did did we come up with a political vendetta yet, Mr. Perry? Out of your ass, because no such thing exists. Since she got delusion problems from Huntington's disease or Alzheimer's or whatever the fuck it is you have, that everybody has to repeat everything for you. We already know. You're already caught. You know what? When you guys say something, you only have to say it once. All we need you to say something is one time, and we got you on premeditation. But you have said it 50 times. Wow, good luck to you in court trying to argue you didn't premeditate that when you've said the same thing 50 fucking times. Get her family to gang up on her. Mm-hmm, and I've said no. I'm not talking to them. We've had the, th the thing that I said tonight, I've already said that over and over and over and over. I'm not going to talk to my family. I don't want to hear a word they have to say. I don't want to hear a word you have to say. You don't matter to me. You don't matter at all. You're a job. No one has caught your crime like we have. No one. You are trying to cover shit up. And the more you try to cover it up, the more we uncover. And the more truth we get. The more you try to force that lie down everybody's throat till we're gagging on it. It's your lie. It's not our problem. You are you got two different lives. One in Lubbock and one up here. And the people in Lubbock would die if they saw the way you live up here and in Houston. Would they? And we heard somebody say at one point, the people describing the Charles Perry that lives in Lubbock, I don't, we don't even know who that is. It's nothing like the guy we know. Yeah, you're a fucking fraud. You're a fucking fraud, aren't you? Why would anyone live a lie? Why, why not just be who you are? What do, what do you feel the need to live a lie for? You, it's your problem. I don't care. I fucking don't give a shit. No fucks are given at all. You know what I care about? That there's a mommy sitting in a room crying her eyes out right now because her child is getting raped and screaming and she can't do a fucking thing to help him. I cannot imagine how horrible that would be. I will tell you one thing, that if that was my kid, that would happen one time and I'd invite you to lunch in the kitchen with me and I'd slash, I would slash your throat ear to ear and not think twice about it. I'd kill you if you did that to my kid. I'd kill you dead. If you raped my kid and made me sit in the next room and torture me and him and I had to listen to my kid scream and I couldn't help him, I'd kill you dead. That would happen one time and you wouldn't see the next minute. I'd kill you dead. I would lure you some, and I mean, I'd, that'd be it. I don't know. How a person lives with that. I don't know how a woman survives having to live like that. That you would do something that heinous to a human being. And try to do it to me, of all people. And ask me to help you with information as to who your leaks are. You're off your nut. You're not going to traffic me, sir. It is never going to happen. 
I have help you can't get to that told me this. And Muffin Man. And Jacob. And Calvin and Blankenship and Desiree and Lucius and Geppetto. You are a witch. And Greg and Tim and Larry. And Tim landing without his transponder on is about to become a huge problem for Larry. I mean, for Tim. And Larry, the man who thinks he bought me. And where he lives. Stuff no victim has. I have it. I have it. And you act like you forget who you're talking to. And I don't, we don't even have words for that. We don't even know what to say to that. Getting her family to gang up on her after she already knows and talked about it. And was like, yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to, I don't want to hear from them. Guess when, guess when I would have liked to hear from them. When the man brutalizing my life made me sleep in my car and go without food in a bath for six months. And here I am, I've gone two days without food. I've eaten a little bit, but not much. It's certainly not a healthy meal. That's what you wanted. You told everybody we're going to starve her until she lies. It's just a coincidence, my ass. I would love to hear you say that in your criminal case. When you, go ahead and say that in your criminal case, okay? I, I mean, I dare you. Say it to Judge Parker now and say it to Judge Egan now. Because if you do, if you lie, we're going to get your ass in the criminal case. Go ahead, deny it. It's just a coincidence. Yeah, there's no police don't believe in that. Especially not her guys. By the way, they probably have you recorded talking about it. She just didn't say anything because she doesn't always. But I would assume they do. How's your little dolly, princess? Is it working for you now? Huh? Don't you have a doll you pray to or something? In your some strange religion you've gotten yourself into? I don't know. Tell the court all about that. Okay, Geppetto. Get Geppetto in there to help. Yeah. Weirdo land. That's all I can say. So, when Judge Parker and Judge Egan hear this, since you're going to go take it to court and say, she, she's harassing me. She called me a retard. Did, did you did do that? Take them into court. Take this to court and tell them where that compound is and why don't you give them a tour? Give the FBI in Houston a tour. Give the judges a tour. And let's get to the bottom of it, okay? You want to accuse me of lying about you? Prove I'm lying, okay? Prove I'm lying that I know I'm lying. Take them to your Houston compound with the FBI and give them a tour. And let's see if it smells like sewer. And let's see how those kids act, because I promise, when the kids being molested, you can tell. They act weird. You can tell they're molested. You can tell they're being abused. They act funny. They don't act normal. They're not, they don't have a normal life. They don't know how to act normal. So, why, you know, do that, okay? Prove I'm lying, you sick fuck. Retard. I'm calling you a retard. Take it to court and tell them how you're being harassed. Okay? And then... Take them to the to the Houston compound and find out maybe why I call you names. And give them a tour. And give the FBI a tour. Give Houston PD or whoever, whatever jurisdiction they're in, they're south of Houston. So whatever jurisdiction, take all, the, all of them in there. Take the Rangers in there. Or are they all on your payroll? Which ones are on your payroll? I, I promise you the guys helping me already have the answers to all of those questions. I wouldn't assume they didn't record you, Mr. Perry. By the way, stop playing doctor. She's, I'm not doing all this. She's just crazy. He's like, maybe you ought to stop playing doctor. Because there's a timeline here that somebody went over all day today. Good thing she wrote it. Good thing she put this stuff down on uh, the day it happened. When it happened. This is not stuff that, this is not stuff that, uh, you know, she, it's an afterthought. She, she did it the day it happened. This right here, you went around telling people we were having a thing. We didn't have a thing. Why'd you say that? There was somebody that commented to somebody who threw a grapevine that's none of your business. They might want to date me or something, and you had to mark your territory. Um, my dating life doesn't concern you in the least, sir. Let's sit Jackie down and see if she thinks you ought to be concerned about my dating life. Huh? Why do we do that? Tell the court. Okay? You got to prove I'm lying and that I know I'm lying. So let's prove that. 
Okay, how is my dating life any of your business? Why are you all worried about a traffic court case? Because it's just, it was a coincidence, right? Yeah, you're some kind of, you're a special kind of stupid. Marcus Harper said, criminals are stupid or they wouldn't be criminals. There's actually research to prove him right. It's called the biology theory of criminology. Low IQ and no impulse control. And your, net, your picture's right there. Right there on, uh, in the book. Next to uh, this, this one's that. This criminal is that. Right? All right, so we have, I don't know why, oh. Okay, you got guys that can get me this in jail, sir? You really want to piss them off? Because when you piss me off, the reason he said don't invade her privacy, don't contact her or her family, and she's not to be broke. You know what? All that's illegal and she doesn't like it. So cut it the fuck out, bitch, or I'm going to fuck you up. And he has. You sure we want to piss them off? What about you, Muffin Man? Who who works for who? Does Charles work for the Muffin Man, or does Muffin Man work for Charles? Why don't you tell the court, Charles? First of all, give the real name of the Muffin Man, because that's a nickname. And I heard you tell somebody, well, the Muffin Man wanted blah, blah, blah. He goes, I don't work for the Muffin Man. You want to work for the Muffin Man? Be my guest. I don't. She has superpowers. No, she doesn't have superpowers. Anything but what it really is, Right? Tell the court what, what that's about. You tell the court the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. So help you God. Or your criminal case. We're just going to hit you between the eyes. With the full force of that court. Okay. They got to have orders. To dig up your ass with their. Detective microscope don't they. Okay well they do. I'm not told who the leaks are. And how dare you ask me of all people for help. I'm sitting here starving. I'm day number two, no heart, no food. I'm trying to DoorDash, as you can see. You can't. Uh huh. It's not like I'm not trying to work, but they told, called everybody I know. She, we're gonna make sure she's broke this week, so don't help her. And if she pressures you, let us know. I heard the recording. Okay, I can testify to that. I don't know how they got the recording. I don't even give a fuck. It's not my responsibility to have to explain that, is it? That's for a whole different courtroom, isn't it? All I can testify to, all I will testify to is, I heard the recording and here's what was on it. Now prove I'm lying and that I know I'm lying. When I haven't eaten for two days, it's kind of hard to do. We needed Mr. Perry not to contact her and to stop trying to communicate with her and to stop doing things that make her look right and him look guilty. And he d it's like talking to the wall. Doesn't understand a word you say. How many people have you frustrated with that? The guy's like, he comes in my office and he wants me to be his bitch and he wants me to do X, Y, Z and cover up my crime and lie for me and make this happen and do that and smear her and ruin her. And so I'm like, okay, I'll try. And then he fucks it all up because here, here's the thing I need. What I need from you, Mr. Bear, if you want me to make your lie work and you want me to smear her and ruin her, is I quit contacting her. And don't look guilty. Don't do things that look guilty. And don't do things that make her look right. Can you just do that? Simple instructions. All right. So one one of these things. Okay. So don't piss us off. Because they got more power than you, by the way. Dumb dumb. Way more power than you. We're quoting you. You're not quoting us. We're naming your us accomplices. You don't have one name of one cop that got me that puzzle. Or told me what you said all day. Do you? Name one. You have, you have named people you think it might be helping us, but you don't know their names. They won't talk to you. You know why? He goes, I said in March 2020, do not invade her privacy. Do not contact her or her family again. And she is not to be broke. And get Michael Neely home to his family and get that club full of paying customers. And get Tristan and Fabian up to Tulsa so they can talk to her. And you butt the fuck out. Or I'm going to fuck you up, bitch. I'm a cop. You're a criminal. That's what I do for a living and I'm good at it. Okay. That. At that point, we didn't have Muffin Man and Ben Core and all your people's names, your accomplices' names, did we? Nope, but we have them now. What about your code words like Papa John's means to make delivery of the victim? So how many people are you involving in your crime to do that, to facilitate delivery? 
to coerce me or pressure me in some way. You're trying to use my family. You're trying to use coworkers. You're trying to use DoorDash. Does Door DoorDash has already said they don't want to be used for your criminal activity. Did they get? Did they not tell you that? How? Who at my my guy's office are they talking to? Behind your back. Did you make him sign an NDA? You know what an NDA is good for? Not a fucking thing. Toilet paper. That's it. Because an NDA is not there to cover up crime or to prevent a witness from testifying against you in a criminal act, criminal matter. That's not what that's for. You can't. It's evidence that you tampered with a witness or you tried to silence a witness. Did you want us to call it that, sir? You're fucking with the wrong people. This is not daycare. And that's the best you got is daycare shit. I think I, I think I told you guys in 2016. This is hardball. Your t-ball. This is romper. I mean, uh, rope-a-dope. You got away with this stuff all your life, but not this time. How much more evidence and how much more? How many times have we quoted you since then? Because when I said that, I already had that. And it didn't occur to you that meant something in the McNamara email too. This should have. If you were smart, it would have. After that, we got all the people's names, accomplices' names. We've got cold words. We quote you every fucking day. Right? Now we got Gabe and Jacob. So you didn't do what he said in March 2020. That really pissed him off. And so you made some choices. You're living with them. You can you can live with your choices, can't you? Yep. What about Jacob? Can he? I'm going to take her car. And tow it. Even though it's not legal. But she won't know that. I'll do it before she figures that out. That it's not legal. Right? Is that what you said? And then you wrecked my car 180 bazillion times? Bentoncourt. Who's Bentoncourt? We hear he throws fits like a little two-year-old brat. Like a two-year-old little girl. Is that true? Is that good intel or bad intel? I'd be very careful about stuff like that. Very careful. Okay, so, I mean, you don't know me. You don't know anything about me. One of y'all said, I'm a billionaire and I can't find these people. I'm a billionaire. And I can't find these people. Why do you think that is? Huh? Why is it you think that is? It's different. I said, this is rope-a-dope. They're going to wear your ass out. And then they're going to hit you with the final punch and you're done. This is rope-a-dope is all this is. They're just flicking at you right now. You guys are some wicked people who hurt people. Who've done nothing to you at all. And you hurt them in a way they will never get over. And so when you're in prison, you think it's cute to act like that. When you're in prison, we're going to come ask you, is it cute now? All those children, you ruined them. Man, you got paid a butt ton of money. And then you went and act, had a party at those little babies' expense. So now you're going to get hit with the full force of the court. Now is it cute? Fuck, fuck you. You want me to call you retard? Will that get this on the court docket if I call you retard? I don't want this on the court docket. I want you to go to court and say, she's harassing me. We got a tissue for you, Mr. Perry, Mr. Bittencourt. Take this to court, retard, and tell the judge how you're being harassed. Okay? I want the, uh, you know, you got to prove she's lying and she knows she's lying. Did you get Mr. Coonswaler wrapped up in this? Did he? Did one of my DoorDash orders have a, have a problem because he was involved with it? What is that? Everything goes to a lot of different people. This is only one of many people that if you do something to me or are suspected of doing something to me or any, if somebody else is suspected of helping you do something to me, it goes... To a lot of people who check into it and find out and prove out info, in, intel, or prove it good or bad. And then we hit play and just go, go, Mr. Perry. We're going to sit here and take notes. You do what you do. 
Because he told you to cut it the fuck out, didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't he say that? Don't contact her. Don't invade her privacy. Get your fucking hands out of her wallet. Or I'm going to fuck you up like you've not been fucked up before. That's what we do. We're cops and you're a criminal. And we're happy to do it. And look how much more information we got. Sensitive information from right inside your criminal organization. Never happened. Hasn't happened before. Never had this happen before. How many times a day do y'all say that? How'd she find out? How the hell did that happen? How does she know about that? I'm happy to be the one. But you know, you don't want to piss me off. Believe me. Any more than you already have. And... If you piss me off, you piss the guys helping me off. You piss them off like a motherfucker. Okay, I don't get the information they do. Now, go into the court and tell Judge Parker and Judge Egan how you are in a state where you don't live and were never invited and you're the victim of harassment. Okay? Now, now poor you, I called you a retard for raping little kids. And making a profit off the rape of little kids. And trying to do it to me too. And I swear to God. If it was my kid. You were raping at that place. And I had to listen to my kid scream. That would happen once. And I would slash your throat. And not think twice about it. How in the world do you do that. And live with yourself. How do you do that. And live with yourself. Does your doll help you. Your doll makes problems for you. It doesn't solve them. Retard. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me the fuck alone, bitch. I will never help you. I will never want you. I'm not going to change my mind. Do not pressure me. Do not bother me. Get the fuck out of my life. Right now. Get out of it. Or they'll do it for you. Right? You're the ones we're seeing things we've not seen before. He will do it for you. And you will not like how that happens. Okay? You choose. You live with your choices. Normal people can't even begin to understand what kind of monster does what you do. Can't do it. We can't fathom. So there's your little crowd of weirdo and outside of that is everybody else. Cannot understand what is wrong with someone that does that to other people right rape murder racketeering fraud perjury grand larceny right interference with contracts interference with commerce coercion obstruction of justice destruction of evidence tampering with evidence tampering with witnesses should I go on prove you're not doing it okay Just talk to me for two minutes. First, let me say that I'm happy that the lady in this video is okay. Second, let me break down what rape culture is. Rape culture is the fact that that man felt that he was entitled to summon this woman's time just because he said, let me talk to you for two minutes. It doesn't matter if it's two minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes. If she said no, no means no. Rape culture is the comments that she has on her video about how she should have just spoke to him or dressed differently. Rape culture is me taking the heat for calling out other men for their terrible behavior. Rape culture is trying to explain stuff as, oh, it's just locker room talk. No, it's not locker room talk. Talk, you should talk the same way wherever you are. We all know that rape is not about sex, it's about power. So for you to force yourself on somebody, even if you're just talking to them, is disgusting, dude. Yep, yep.